Farah in a couple of areas that maybe his opponents won't. But Seoul will have a double sniper defense. San Francisco will likely set a teleport around the front here, but if we see him stick to Arns, what does this say, Matt? Uh, he's gonna he's gonna get the TP out. They're gonna try and get this high ground. <laughs> now, now you'll see him go back and switch off of this. So, uh, this gets San Francisco into a pretty advantageous position. They know though that Ans is back in the spawn. Uh, they're just trying to get this high ground. Bully fits out of position. Marvel's been also shifted from his initial spot, and the San Francisco shot have been out of pull off a little bit of a dosey go, and they've caught Marvel on the low ground. This is the disaster for Seoul. Arguably the most durable, the centerpiece of their team. The signal's been taken out, and Gesture followed right after. They've got supports and DPS, and not much more, Matt. And this is such a good strategy for the San Francisco shop. You get control of the high ground as fast as possible. Then Ans comes back on the Widow. It puts Fitz in a horrible position. He doesn't have control of the sight line of the point anymore because he's been pushed, pushed so far back uh, and that the tanks can't really go and contest. You have the Hanzo damage coming out from Striker. Really great strategy from San Francisco early on. Well, what's brilliant about it, that is that Seoul, they're not dumb. They just couldn't see where the teleporter was. That Arns had actually placed down. Jester checked the choke and saw nothing. The Dynasty couldn't help but be caught by surprise by such a strange tactic, and it goes from bad to worse. Jester gets hooked in, and the Discord Orb is liberally applied to his forehead. Violet is traded out, but they get rid of Prophet now, and San Francisco, they are just riding this chaos as much as they can. A kill there on Marvel is big, but a resurrect on Prophet may shift the momentum back. Yeah, but you're going to get a resurrection that happens on the Choyobin, and you're down oh, no! tanks for Soul Dynasty. Uh, so, so you just get so much more value out of this res. Toby about halfway through the res, he has a tank die directly in front of him. He doesn't end up obviously breaking it up and getting the tank. He's got her as Prophet at that point. He's fully committed as uh, Moth bring back Choy, which is just a, a large amount of value in terms so of much. HP pool they provide. I mean, we're talking a uh, considerable amount of shield plus that health. So as far as the effective health points you brought back into the game, it's higher value than a Hanzo Resurrect. Prophet, though, little flank, fight strike. It's going to be an instant resurrect here. Gravitic flux to try and bait out those that were resing, but Violet has a transcendence ready to fire off. And the shock, a brief rest, and now they're back on the road once more. Accretion words overhead for Joey Hogan, but he gets rid of Marvel, who went down below half health while he was suspended in midair. Super low. It's an electric looking gesture in his face, but the dynasty couldn't touch the cards. This is not how Soul want this map to be going. The shock in five minutes, 20 seconds on the clock. That is preposterous. And to be honest, when the Gravitic Flux comes through from Choi, they also end up using a Dragon Strike, but Striker ends up using it so early that it doesn't really connect and do a ton of damage. That could have been just way cleaner for San Francisco. Fits the headshot there on the Striker will take him out. They're trying to use a Dragon. They want this kill to last, but be a Valkyrie from Moth trying to keep everybody up. Gesture trying to wrap around the side here and slow the shock down with an instant pick. And again, Moth. Oh, the audacity of him. Arts is able to find the headshot on Prophet, almost like Mock baited Prophet out into that challenge. Now Striker steps up after Prophet is brought back into the fight. And that high ground control remains with the shock for now. Both teams have imprecise puffs right now, so lots of vision. They know exactly where they're at is Prophet just trying to get a pick here. Sonic Arrow to make sure he doesn't get pushed. It'll be Arts taking out Fitz here. No way. Oh, okay. Super eventually gets taken down. He was slipped and then hit with a biotic grenade and the dragon strike doesn't create enough space for the shock to get him out. So they resurrect him instead. The high ground duel is still going. Prophet's hit with a wayward arrow as he's forced to drop down now. And from that right hand side, you can see Chuikobin looking for an accretion. Gravitic flux, but creatives down. That's the lion's share of healing available to the Soul Dynasty. He has to be brought back into the fire and he is. But the Dynasty is still playing with five. Hans with two. Striker up on the high ground. Big hook there from Gesture. That Soul Dynasty seems to have control of the cart. They'll have a nano boost here. Whole Hog and Valkyrie as Fitz comes alive and takes out Hans. As, uh, you do have this Transcendence Mitch with no, uh, with no uh, Gravitic Flux on the other side. You can probably use it a little bit more aggressively. Choke Open's also close to a Gravitic Flux of his own. Super's put to sleep. Dragon Strike attempted to take his life. The Transcendence was there from Violet once more, right on time. He has the goods. And now the entirety of the shock is going to cost Jester in that left-hand corner. Somehow Toby has to try and keep the card stored and keep Marvel alive at the same time. Multitasking at his finest, but Prophet, the lone sniper, returns. He goes for a wide flank and finds three. <laughs> 
putting them in the ground and San Francisco run out of gas once more. But it's profit really coming up, cash money. But think about how hard they've worked for this. And there's still three minutes on the clock for San Francisco. Like this hold has to be just incredible from here on out for Soul Dynasty. And it feels like Soul Dynasty on this point, which they, they've held for an eternity already. It feels like we've spent most of the time here uh, going to point C. And there's still a ton of time on the clock. But you see that as soon as the shock give an opening, a player like Profits exploits it to its absolute fullest. That was honestly inconceivable the way he was able to save his team in that Unreal. moment. And Outfit's buoyed forward by confidence after that fight. We but Arts fight the headshot. That's an instant resurrected. Dragon Strike was still loose. And Choi Hoban is looking worse for wear. Violet actually goes down to the Dragon Strike himself. Only to be resurrected into, yes, a lot more oncoming fire. Strike is able to find profit, but it's the supports of the shock that are beleaguered. And the rest of San Francisco need to sidebar again and regroup. So you'll have a dragon for San Francisco. Uh, you'll also have the Transcendence. So you'll have Transcendence for Gravitic Flux. Uh, but Soul Dynasty starting to rally off a few holds here. Uh, I tell you what, uh, although as, uh, for as bad as they've looked uh, for point A and point B, if Soul gets a hold here, that is a huge swing in momentum. This is how you win a map that starts so poorly, Matt. Really rallying towards the final moments. Answers brought back into the fight now, and the Dynasty are down to four players. Toby has popped the Valkyrie and will be looking for a resurrection. There's no bodies to safely bring back into the fight, and they keep piling up one after another. Arn's getting rid of profit, and you can see the damage boost and Fitz playing from the high ground, but he can't really contest in his current state, and Striker challenges him anyway. Jess is hooked instantly. The Discord all helps a lot. Here it is. The whole hook keeps him up, and Gesture is held aloft, tantalizingly close to the card, but he can't contest, and San Francisco finish the attacking round. And I think if you're a soul dynasty, uh, you can't look at it as like you gave up the entire map with a minute and 17. You have to look at it in the kind of the context of where you were at that time. Five minutes plus for San Francisco to get from point B to point C. And you're able to hold for four minutes there. Uh, it, it really good hold for Seoul Dynasty there at the end. That's got to give them confidence going into this offense. All they have to do, Mitch, if you're a Seoul Dynasty, if you're some of the players over there uh, whatnot talking during this, this time in the setup, it's, hey, if we finish the map and we kind of adjust at the beginning on our point A defense, like, we, we can win this map. Uh, you know, they were they were almost in a position where they were going to give up uh, you know, our, our record board time there. And they end up holding on uh, pretty nicely there at the end. So if they can get off to a good start here, you, you can see Soul Dynasty kind of running the, uh, running the map all the way down, sending us into OT. Here's those final moments, and this is tough for Gesture. This is what the Shock have to deal with, a Wrecking Ball. Oh, Discord Orb. Nano Boost used for healing and damage reduction, but then the Gravitic Flux and Gesture yeah. too far to contest. I almost thought they weren't going to get the Nano Boost off. Uh, when, I, when I was watching him come out of the spawn, and he almost gets kind of trapped between both tanks for a second. I didn't think he was going to get the Nano Boost onto him, uh, but he's able to. Still doesn't really make that much of a dis difference. Is uh, on shot onto the sentry turn as it comes out of the spot. See how Ans plays this though. Like uh, how I mentioned, they were able to force Fitz off of high ground and he wasn't able to just kind of dominate the point, just control from these types of angles. See, Soul Dynasty, look, they go underneath, so they're not going to try and take this angle away by forcing at the high ground. It looks like at least early on, they're going to go and try and underneath and deny any line of sight. San Francisco, give a lot of space, and Arts has no idea who's behind him, but Prophet, he missed the shots, and now the rest what? of the shock have come to the rescue of Arts. Toby goes down as Arts somehow bangs off a damage boosted body shot, and oh, Violet's there no. to deal with Prophet and Matt. The Dynasty, sometimes the best laid plans go to waste, and that one, that one fell apart. Oh, and, and on seemed like he had no clue Prophet was there. The Prophet able to nail some of those shots? Uh, that That is a completely different uh, first fight. It's a uh, gesture, you know, doing gesture things. You see him all the way, his outline on the map. Just going on these long flanks. Looks like he's going to take that staircase and go up top. So try and go after Moth and on. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. They've rotated Striker up to the high ground as well, though, so Jester will have his hands full. But more than just the Widowmaker, Hanzo definitely a little bit more lethal to him as the Storm Arrows let him rack off one after another. He's controlled the high ground now, though. That's huge. And that forces the shock back into this choke, man. Jester has the run of the whole barn up there. But Pilot gets rid of him. The Discord Orb blows him up, man. 
it's just a, you know, Violet is a flex support, whether it's on the Zen or the Batiste, just the extra damage he's able to put down is huge. Wait. You know, you have an Ana there, you're not able to burst down a Roadhog, right? Uh, but when you're playing the Zen, it's much different. He has more damage than Super right now, does Violet. I mean, oh. by a decent amount. He is functioning. We, we talked about Roadhog, Matt, functioning as another damage dealer. I mean, Violet is doing just that. doesn't matter if it's Batiste, Zen, Ana. He's stepping up. And that's in contrast to, obviously, Creative, he's on Ana. He's just not built the character to do that kind of damage. With much more supportive, much more healing-oriented. We see Violet do this consistently, though. Uh, you know, put out just damage that way. You look at the numbers, like, almost doesn't make any sense from the Batiste. In the Zen position. So uh, Fitz will use the Infrasight here. That's the shot. Uh, uh, that's a risky challenge when you know he has the walls. And still, the San Francisco Shocks strike back. It looked like a Gravitic Flex from Trick over to begin the fight. Strike, it does go down, but Answer's brought back. So the Shock a little bit limping here, lacking one player. Still in a strong position now to Dragon Strike will force Trichobin and Moth to part briefly. And you can see at the top of screen, Strike is scrabbling to get back to contest this point. You'll have a whole hog here, though, for San Francisco. Knock players back. Is so under a minute here on point A. Another duel brewing between Arts and Fitz here, but Trick opens the one to fall first. The Gravitic Flux strikes true for Marvel, and Violet hit with a Bionic Grenade. Super now in trouble. Drawn in for a big bear hug. It actually comes out on top. There's no way San Francisco can be turning that around. Arts versus Marvel, but Strike has it off angle here. He can't interfere with the capture right now. He needs to get rid of Fitz and then the Sigma on top, and that's a lot to ask for. Huh? But Arts saves him off in the background. You're kidding me! And Joy comes back on the wrecking ball just to pile drive and knock players up. No one can hide. From It'll be the walls here from Fitz, just trying to get an angle, deny some of these players coming out of spawn, but. The damage may already been done. San Francisco's going to get another fight. Violet takes profit out. That's not the way you want to start this fight at all. The resurrect would have to happen. Troy Hoban goes down to the whole hog of gesture and Super has to lay low with that biotic grenade on him. But Fitz has fallen again. They keep going down. The dynasty needs to find a way to search forward onto the point. But Arthur's brought back into the fight too. Now it's gesture and Marvel huddling close for comfort to try and capture this point. They get Super. What a critical hook. Jester with the nano boost now and he can save up most of the dragon strike damage. He looking, he's just looking to stand on the point right now now and try and get this one under Soul's control. Prophet also comes in the reinforcements for the Dynasty outnumbered the Shock. They have the numbers and now they have the payload. Oh, that is so close though. I mean, it, it's just a combination of players for the San Francisco Shock. Ants with the snipes, uh, Choi coming back on the Wrecking Ball, Violet on this end, able to pick off some players. He also had Violet at one point, just kind of go on a flank, pop a transcendence to stay alive. Uh, unbelievable defense there early on from San Francisco. They put themselves in a great position here on King's Row. That was almost an inconceivable scene. The Dynasty show that they're made of more than just skill and some true grit to boot. And the San Francisco, the audacity of this move, looks like they set off a poison mine. So it's likely Fix is aware that there was some sort of flank in the works. And no ults here for San Francisco. Just the Valkyrie. Super slept right now. Jester on a big old flank here. Will they be ready for the Roadhog? It's a double fighting grenade hit from Creative. Another big one. And Super can't take a breather. Well, it can, but it doesn't really work. He just gets the health back. And Moth is going to fall here. This is what the Dynasty are looking for. Now a chance to build some momentum. And Prophet doubles down. This is what they were looking for. Yeah, and Moth gets hit with that Biotic Grenade because he goes up a little bit forward to try and heal Super. So he doesn't even bother popping Valkyrie. No reason to waste the Valkyrie there. They use a lot of ultimates at the end of that fight thinking they can take point A and hold that on defense and get a full hold. It does not work out in their favor. They'll give up point B here. It does not look like they're going to be able to contest. Marvel gets out in front, puts down some damage, denies any chance of that for San Francisco. Not now through the Shock... And now if you're the shock though, you gotta push forward, Mitch. You gotta get a little bit closer here, play enough front defense. A nightmare start to the round for the Dynasty, but now they're back in a position where they can really threaten San Francisco's time bank. Super sheepishly there, just ducks out towards the right as the Widow shots whiz overhead and he's gonna try and wrap around briefly. Dragon Strike, there are a lot of solar playing inside that right hand side room and they catch Jester out. Another sleep down. There's no capitalization. And Dynasty will be finally sent back to spawn. They built some good momentum. They themselves will now have to regroup. Uh, still, they 
they're, they're so far behind or going to be so far behind in the time bank. I know the next upcoming fight will have the Gravitic Flux no support ultimate for Soul Dynasty to be able to live through that with the extra damage. Uh, you also have Moth with the Valkyrie, uh, potentially adding like some damage boost and also healing on through that to keep everybody up. You, you win a fight like that for San Francisco, we're looking at the Soul Dynasty with a cart in this type of position with like 40 seconds on the clock to win the map. So much to play for here for the Dynasty. Going to half time, 0 2 down in a first of four. It would be a disaster. They lose gesture early on, but that's the trade. Prophet's able to find super. Both Roadhogs taking a lot of damage. Moth goes down. He was punished for going for the resurrect here. And there's a window, a brief one, but Fitz opens it a little bit wider. A chance for the Dynasty to surge forward, but no one's on the cart really pushing it right now. Marvel sets himself forward. Fitz has to do the dirty work here. And nobody wants to go around the corner with the risk of Ants or even Violet of putting down some damage. So they have to wait just a second. So he's trying to get everybody back. They, they can't even put the car progress on right now. They ha they know Jester's coming on this flank too, does the shock. They have to use an boost on him. He gets created out of his uh, out of taking the breather. That keeps Jester alive though, when he has an Oh my god! He has a whole hog here, and Arns almost found himself on the wrong side of that scrap gun. Here comes the Gravitic Flux, and Arns is not able to get out of it here. He will be healed up by Moth, and Violet has a transcendence on the ground. 15 seconds left of the round, and the Dragon Strike. It gets eaten by Marvel's Kinetic Grasp. That's a huge advantage for the Dynasty, but can they press it further? Prophet goes down, Striker and Moth at the top of your screen, folding back into their sport, and Super interrupts the increase from Marvel. He goes down, the San Francisco shot with the players now, and Toby can do nothing but try and push the card on its own. That, sadly, is just not going to cut it. A San Francisco shock. Have the Dynasty reeling two maps to zero. And that is not how the Dynasty, the upstarts, the challengers, wanted to begin this series.